and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Crawling Gaming Pokemon Soul Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge, where Noelle has back on the team that is just crushing it. She's so happy. She's so happy to be here, and I'm sure you're all so happy that she's here. Noelle, who, amongst a team of absolute freaking legends here, is the one slaying all the legendaries, like a true skunk champion, am I right? Although, let me, man, how crazy were Noel and Engberg in the last episode? Just wrecking stuff. As, you know, who's, who's surprised? Nobody. No, but anyway, uh, we fought Celery, who we discovered has been working with freaking Dialga and Palkia. He even sent out Palkia against us, but this time we were ready. Perhaps you will recall that we caught Engberg moments before Palkia struck, and it turns out that Engberg was there. It, it, it would appear that Engberg appeared to us as like a, I, I will help you. I know what is coming. I, I'm ready. And Engberg destroyed the Palkia for now. Who's to say if it shall rear its ugly head again? They've used under my, underhanded methods the whole way through. Open one door, another closes. Bitch can't get where you want to go. That's how this whole nose like is felt, man. Good thing happens, bad thing happens. Shouldn't have said that out loud. Um, here we go. You, what moves do you have? What do you got? What do you got? You need a ground move, McLean. Need some actual. We have we have two ground type Pokemon and no ground type moves, I believe. Right? Yeah. Very frustrating. We'll get there. Disable. Ugh. I don't like that. Slash. Dead. Take him, plant. You got it. What do you Uh, we got it. Give it the old slasheroo, buddy. And a sleep. God, what is this guy's deal? What do you have against plants? You're a plant. Shh. This thing. Bring in the big ice. Lucky chant. That's not going to save you from fire punch from literal cannon for an arm ice. Uh, do we fear the mime? We don't. We say faint attack, and then and then you and then you faint. That's that's what that means, right? Faint attack makes you faint. You've been hit by the ice cannon for an arm, Jack. Jack, my man, I do not care about whatever it is you're calling me about. So let's, these, these, is there a, okay. It feels like there's a puzzle at work here. Let's just fight the guys and clear the, the, the annoying parts of the puzzle out. Fork Obia Goods! You look like a security guard, but in fact, oh, you're a burglar, Never mind. A manectric! A manectric. We know. Oh, hmm. well, I'm gonna go into McLean. <laughs> Doesn't affect McLean. <laughs> That's right. And then we rock slide. Okay, Leer's not great, but we still rock slide. Uh, and then let's go for the dark pulse for the. Oh, you're gonna quick attack me? Let's see how much that Leer did. Nothing. We laugh it off. And then I think we're gonna leftovers that back. Yeah, just like that. And then a Weavile. Okay. Um, also not super concerned about it. Uh, I could have ice moves. I could have ice moves. So let's switch it out to Engberg here. We don't want to deal with any silly nonsense. That shouldn't even affect us that bad. We're going to Metal Claw this thing. We got the Quick Claw. Quick Claw, Metal Claw. Engberg utilizing that Quick Claw. Just crush it. Oh, and the Pidgeot. Oh, the Squawk. All the we went so long without running into any of the Pidgey line in this Nuzlocke. And now, suddenly, two episodes in a row, they rear their ugly heads at us. Anyway, um, let's surf this thing down. You might be able to fly, but we are a giant metal penguin. Okay, so, yeah, all right. Uh, smoke ball, what does that do? I think that lets us flee from stuff. I'm actually gonna go in here and get an awakening and use that on Plant! There it is. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, they ditched this project before they finished. I'm searching for leftover loot. They ditched it? There's still people down here. There's a ro another rocket's looking right at me. A Snova! Boy. Um, you know who's not afraid of Snovers? His name is Ice. 
maybe you've heard he has a literal cannon for an arm and you are four times weak now we are going to take a wee bit of chip damage there but we just leftovers that right off and then we fire punch you we burn you to the ground faster than you knew was possible because you're made of ice and wood both weak to fire leftovers oh and you've got you have a starter as well <laughs> well 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 what does one know about that a blaze again Let's go confused right on this thing. It's confused. It double kicks. Oh, okay. Of course, it's going to take some damage, and we're not. We're just going to faint attack it. It's going to hit itself. Yeah. The hail continues to fall. We heal it off. It does not. Uh, we faint attack again. Hail continues to fall. Yeah. We heal it off. It does not. We faint attack. It dies. Boom. Take that. Ice. Literal cannon for an arm beats chicken. We don't got time for chicken. We ain't got no time for chickens in here, all right? If we wanted a different fully evolved fire starter, we'd, we'd have put, we'd, we'd ha we have a chimchar, all right? And uh, we could put that on the team, but any time, whoever we wanted to. But we have ice right now, and ice is just crushing it. This looks like more ice fodder. More ice fodder, bring it! Get out there, Ice. You got it. Show them. Show them the power. And the Kranidos. Okay, <laughs> okay, and get out. Um, <laughs> we don't like this thing. Okay, let's see. Ugh, this thing has some moves, no doubt. Um, let's go Engberg. Engberg for the Winberg. Yeah, oh, hits with recoil and then dies with regret. Yeah, Engberg for the win again. Just like that. All right, now what door do we need open here? That door, I reckon. And then I assume we can't just open it. Yeah, okay. Oh, well, it was worth a shot. Let's see be weeby here. I'm sure we're gonna have to do some sort of weird sequencing. That does not allow us access to anywhere, so let's undo that. That also did nothing, so let's go red doors. Oh. Oh, do I have to hit two buttons in like sequence here? We need to open that door, right? So we have to press the green button at least to open that door and then we have to hit the red button. And that didn't do anything now with the blue button. Uh, yeah, okay, so that was pretty easy. You don't have that scared look. I'll give you something to be scared about. Sure. Well, I say sure, who knows, Absol. Boy, I don't know if you guys have seen Absol in Sword and Shield, but they gave it like this, they gave it the Feraligator treatment where it used to be this like sleek, like all these sharp points. It's just sort of like, like a kind of fluffy now. It just doesn't look nearly as intimidating as that Absol. That one looks awesome. Um, I think we headbutt, we win butt. Ooh. Is he going to use Razor Wind? Is that the move you're going for here? Um, don't we have someone who... Hold on, let me see something here. Stench, Intimidate, Fire, Status Problem, Sandstorm, Water Type. Okay. Um, so the only thing about this is that it has a high critical hit ratio, Razor Wind, and Absol already has a high attack stat, so... My thought is maybe bringing Kimberly to lower the attack stat. I'm not sure that affects critical hits, but at least we have a higher health anyway. Um, and I don't want anything bad to happen to Noel. So we're gonna do that real quick. Razor Wind is not a very good move at all. It takes two turns to do bad damage, but um, it has a high critical hit ratio. We've seen what can happen. Here we go. And a Sharpedo, well, well, well. Not too afraid of that. Another glass cannon. Headbutt. Oh, the rough skin. Did look how much freaking damage that did. Goodness. Is that like a percentage of the damage you deal it situation? Because I did not know that about rough skin. I thought it was like a 1 16th. That was scary. Good to know. We will bear that in mind. Moving forward, should we come across more Sharpedos? Dangerous in more ways than one. They can also have um, Pursuit, which is bad. We don't like that. You're not going any further. I don't show mercy to my enemies, especially not brats. Okay. All right. 
Let's just calm it the let's just calm it down. My oh, man. Alright, um up, 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 up. this thing has got nothing on us. We're gonna give it the old toxicate here. Yeah. It's gonna try and stomp us, but for no good. No good will come of that stomp. Because then we thief it. Oh, oh, you sleep us! Weak sauce. I think we just stay in and try and work the sleep off, honestly. Oh, barrage. Uh-huh. Wow, that was quite a barrage. It did very little. We're gonna stay in. Noel's got it. We hit the leftovers. Noel gets a level while asleep. Wants to learn Night Slash. Yes, please. Okay, forget to move. Um, let's see. Night Slash to 70. I think we're gonna have to get rid of Thief. It was good. We got our leftovers. We have to get rid of it. It's way better. We have Toxic. If we Toxic and then flinch them, that's just deadly. And Night Slash has a high critical hit ratio. We have to do it. Sorry. Night Slash. Yes. Porygon 2. All right. Trace the stench. Um, now we don't have Toxic to do damage while we're asleep, though. So we're going to switch out now. Let's go... Let's go Big Kim. Intimidate, Magnet Rise, Electromagnetism. I know what that's supposed to be doing. Um, let's go Headbutt, Psybeam. Oh, maybe we should have stayed with Noel. Well, oh, I didn't actually, well, I was gonna say I meant to hit Headbutt, but whatever. Headbutt, but. <laughs> Hilarious, I know. You're all, you can't contain yourself, you're laughing so hard. All right, let's go, um, Awakening. On, oh, Noel! Yay. We got it. When does Noel evolve? It has got to be soon, right? I think it's 34. Max Ether. Ether. Max Ether. I will, I can, I've been saying it wrong my whole Pokemon life, and now it's like one of those where I, I know the right way, but I'm like, I know one of these is right, but which one? Ether? It's Ether. A war turtle! Who do we have to fight war turtles? I guess Engberg. I, I mean, Noel's probably fine. Let's go to Engberg, though. Engberg getting in lots of fights recently. Just, just wrecking stuff here. Go for the Metal Claw. Not very effective. That's okay. Um, I don't think this thing can do very much to us. We're just gonna, oh. You know, I wish we'd gone Swords Dance. All right, now we're gonna go Swords Dance in case it protects again. Ha, it did! Look at that, look at that prediction, y'all. And then we Metal Claw, and this should kill it now. Now we've set up on this thing. It is doomed. Engberg to 35. Die rogue. Um, I'm not that concerned about it. Let's just Metal Claw, right? Yeah. What is that? I should check what our next level cap is real quick. Just so we don't accidentally, I don't think we're anywhere near it. But just, just to be certain, let me double check. Okay, yeah. The next gym level is 41. So we are far away from that happening. Just yet. Okay, that looks like a good item down there because you have to fight so many people to get to it, which means we want it. And there's like that guy's like, it looks like he's like, ready to give it to you. He's like, I have this item. It's really good. Swalot! All right, all right. Um, we know, uh, let's see. I mean, honestly, the answer is Eggberg, isn't it? We don't deal with, we don't have to deal with you. We're just gonna Metal Claw you. How freaking good is Metal Claw all of a sudden? It's just wrecking everything. Oh, you want more of the Metal Claw? Bring it, dude. Give me the attack boost. Ah, uh, nothing. Altaria. All right, now we're talking. Now we have a dragon opponent. Oh, we're stuck using Metal Claw. Apparently that's okay. Um, I guess just keep going. I mean, just keep going. They encored us into the victory. Okay. We should, I wish we had an ice type attack on the team. That'd be really solid. Do I have to fight this guy to get this item? I doubt it. Sleep talk. Well, uh, probably not gonna use that. Uh, wasn't that great. Who, who, what? You came to rescue me? Thank you. Oh, the radio tower, what's happening there? Taking over my team rocket? Here, take this card key. Cool. 
<laughs> you sat open the shutters on the third floor. I am begging you help. There's no telling what they'll do if they control the transmitter. They may even be able to control Pokemon using a special signal. You're the only one I can call on. Please save the radio tower and hold the Pokemon nationwide. All right. Guess I could uh, give it a shot. Give it a shot. I've been, I've been knocking out rockets left and an amulet coin. Oh, good. You know what that does? Money. Though we've been doing pretty good on money here as of late. Um, I look like an item back there that maybe I want. Oh, does someone give me strength? Is that a thing? Do you have strength? Can you make the Machoke move it? Help us move the container. Oh, an ether? That's nice. Do I have to wait for this guy to be standing right there? Oh, okay. That's a weird little puzzle. A burn heal. Boy, that was a lot of waiting around to get that freaking burn heal. This one better be good. An ultra ball. All right. Well, I feel like that was a waste. Uh, are we in the department store now? Oh, weird. Okay. Well, we're back up here. Man, I was totally lost underground there. Let's go ahead and heal up. I feel like we have got to be close to the level with Noel. If it's not 33, if we get to, if it's not 33, I'm using a rare candy and we're gonna get to 34, just like that. And then maybe, and cause I feel like it's 30. I feel like I remember 34, it's sticking in my brain. Sticking in my brainzilla. Did we already go past it or is it all the way at the top? All right, now we already went, we already beat that guy. We have to go down here. It's over here, right? Chance to the card key. Yeah, all right, here we go. Bring it, dude. Bam. Why did the door open? Did you have something to do with this? <laughs> Who opened the door? Maybe you should have been sending on the other side of the door. Oh, you have a literal cannon forward arm as well, I see. <laughs> I don't blame you. It's just a marvelous strategy for winning Pokemon battles. You're just like, hey, yo, has cannon for arm. Fire spin. I get it. I understand why you try I understand why you try the faint attack. You're using a lot of the same tricks. Fire spin's not very good, but um, we wrecked you nonetheless. Uh, and then we're just gonna Metal Claw you, because you're part rock, I believe. And Metal Claw, frickin' Engberg, continues to just destroy everyone in sight. Engberg, so good, so good. Oh, this looks like another little boss fight, doesn't it? Well, well, well you know, I, I'm like, sort of like laughing them off, like, we've beaten so many. But then, but then Celery showed up in the last episode with a freaking Palkia, right? Like, our, our hated nemesis, who's been thwarting us all the way through. Oh, gosh. You just know. I mean, the fights are random, but you just know that the, like, the champion that Lance is going to throw out, like, Dialga or something as his ace Pokemon. Like, you just know it. You can, you can just feel it, can't you? Unbelievable. Um, let's do this. Oh, now wait just one second. Aren't you the one who got in our way at the Slowpoke? Well, oh, I see you're doing all this because you want to make me angry. Be careful. But since you seem to wish it, I'll show you the full extent of Team Rocket Executive's wrath. All right. Bring it, Proto. No. A Clefairy! Well, well, well. I never. Let's uh, toxic this thing. There it is. Oh, what a good move. Wow, because now if it tries to... um minimize its way away from us it'll just die headbutt oh cosmic power what does that do is that a yeah, I don't know what that did um headbutt probably should have read what it did wake up slap well we're not asleep just yet we have some leftovers and now you're hurt by poison this would be a great opportunity like if we had a setup move to do that instead but instead, we'll just go ahead and kill it instead we headbutt we win but as usual and an Umbreon! Oh, well, well, well. 
more things to Toxic, am I right? Oh, look at this. How great has Toxic been on oh, Noel? They're like, oh, th this guy's all about the accuracy loss somehow. And uh, they're like, oh, first guy, make it hard to hit him. Second guy, make it hard to make it hard for us to hit. Anyway, Noel laughs off your sand attack, dude. Noel laughs off your sand attack. Look at that. Noel has not been fooled by a single minimize, not by a single sand attack. She's just such a wonderful skunk. Oh, now we get confused raid. The Umbreon, yeah. I kind of just want to stay in so that Noel gets the full experience from this fight. Yeah, and we're gonna hurt herself in confusion. You know what? It doesn't matter. Noel strikes even, okay, 33. Is this it? Is this it? Oh, okay. All right, we're trying it. I, even if it's not, I don't even feel bad. I'm pretty sure we have a rare candy, right? Do we? Where would it be? In here? There it is, okay. I don't even feel bad. Noel, you've earned this one. Oh, I thought so, I thought so. Here we go, Noel, you've earned it. My skunk. My skunkington here. Oh, my little skunk is going up to be a big old skunk. To the skunk tank, oh, oh. Mm. Mm. The prankster that she is. That is a prank stance if ever I have seen one. Mm -hmm. You're Noel evolved in Skun Tank. <laughs> oh yeah, I did. Flamethrower, why? What? Already knows four moves. Um, I am confused. Special attack, flamethrower. Um, let's see. It is 90. I mean, we headbutt, we win butt, right? I don't, I, <laughs> flamethrower is so good. And I wish we could just get rid of cut. Ah. Uh, now, hold on, let me think here. Flame, why are we learning flamethrower? That's such a random move for Noel to have. Night Slash is obviously awesome and Toxic has been so good and Headbutt has been so good because it can make stuff flinch. And if it flinches while it's toxic, you get such buildup. This would give us a, uh, like what does this help us against? We are weak to nothing, right? So, or weak to ground. So if we're, it's not like, oh, now look, we can throw a Surf at it or something. I think Headbutt might be better in this situation. Because we actually have a higher attack than we do special attack, not by much. I think Noel could do fine with either, but I do think, I think headbutt is the way to go. Yeah, I think we're gonna stick it. That's hard to get, it's hard, it's hard to give up on flamethrower, but I think we're gonna stick with headbutt. That has been a good move for us thus far. Look at Noel, just crud. This is like, no, look at, there she is, Oh. Ultra, we've had like a bunch of Ultra Balls. The game is like, Jay, we know you're not gonna buy them. Just take them, just take them. Just take the Ultra Balls. Oh goodness, what do you say? Oh, you angry? Noel cried out, yeah, yeah. Like, I want more. Well, ask and you shall receive, Noel. Let's roll. A boom. Bam, bam, bam. Hey, you, remember me from the hideout in Mahogany Town? This time, <laughs> this time, it looks like you're really all alone. All of this guy, this person is repeating themselves a lot. All right, let's finish this. Ariana. I want to actually, in a complete, if my memory serves, in a complete twist of irony, I want to say it was Ariana's scun tank, of all things, that knocked out my shiny mill tank in this exact fight, way back in the Heart Gold playthrough, if I remember correctly, and in the twist of fate, we are now the ones with the scun tank. Wow. How times have changed. How times have changed. Anyway, um, let's show this guy who's boss. Give it a quick toxic. A yawn! How dare you. All right, well, fine. If you want to yawn me, once again, I think we're gonna send out Kimberly just to share the love around a little bit here. We've had so many, oh, Hyper Fang. Wow, okay. Hyper Fang is a very scary attack, but look, we can employ the exact, oh, we can use Fly. This is a wonderful combo because now the Toxic builds up for another turn. We get hit with Fly, they die. 
We fly, they die. You know how the rhyme goes. And Omista, well, well, well. I guess it's gonna have rock moves, and that's not good because we're weak to rock. You know who's not weak to rock? Engberg. Engberg, who is so freaking clutch, man. The, the typing. Oh, oh, it has mud shot. I don't like that at all. Ironically, Kimberly would have completely dodged that. Um, they shared the low weakness to ground, which apparently this guy has. Mm, let's go to plant. This plant is actually, would typically, oh, there's the rock move. Yeah. So that's gonna get stronger and stronger, which we don't like, but I think. It's not going to be strong enough to knock us out in two Dragon Rages. Especially because we have Leftovers and we can't miss. So there you go. Bring it! Angberg. Oh! Forget to move for Aqua Jet? Yeah, I think we're going to get rid of Brine. Um, Brine's good, but it's like situational. Like, sometimes it's better than Surf, but only sometimes. Aqua Jet? Very good, because we're slow, and this is a priority move. Right? Um, it hits for 40. But it's physical, which also means it benefits from Swords Dance. So there's that. So we're going to get rid of Brian. Yeah. Poof. Yeah, there we go. We like that. Priority moves are always so good. In fact, it'd be great in this exact situation. Um, let's see. Man, I ri we need Plant and or McLean to get a ground move, though. For sure. All right, we're just going to Dragon Rage this thing. See, sadly... Let's go for the slash, see how that does. Nine tails and their constant confuse rays. What why are you so strong? I know. Let's go, McLean. Let's go. Get the experience out there. We're not gonna learn new moves if we don't fight, right? <clears throat> I think we got it with a thrash here. Yeah, that's it for the game. Thrash for game. We got it. McLean! Walt! Walt! My man, my man, see ya! I'm not answering. I'm in an I'm in an elevator. I can't hear. It's bad reception in here. I can't hear anything you're saying. All right, this home Slizzington slice is about to roll the dice and lose. Archer, oh, you managed to get this far. You must be quite the trainer, Radio Tower. And officially announce our what? What? Are you speaking in regular sentences? Maybe I'm reading poorly. That seems likely enough. All right, this guy's got three vibrava. Oh, you got a, you got, you got dragons. You got a dragon, so we could have dragon breath. That's a typical vibrava move, which can paralyze, which is no fun. But we're just gonna play the nice poison game, supersonic. Okay. Uh, we don't like that Pokemon. We're gonna go to. So we have. This is the thing when you have this many dragons, like you don't want to switch into an accidental dragon move, I think. So we're confused, but here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use the turn to heal. We should have done this ahead of time, but we're just gonna use the turn to heal Engberg, because I'm not that concerned about, oh, Sandra, we are, how did I not realize? Are we trapped? Oh no, we can't be switched out. If you knock out my skunk, I swear, I swear. Oh my gosh, I forgot that this is a ground type Pokemon. Now we can't switch. This is bad news of bears of bombs. Okay, okay. We need it to flinch hard. If it knocks out Noel, no, it cannot. It cannot. We're we're not even risking it. We're going full potion. Sand tomb. Hurt by the poison. Okay, now we flinch it. Now we flinch it. Oh, we crit it! Yes! Oh, you stupid Vibrava. I swear, that was freaking me out. Oh, a glam meow. Disgusting. Night Slash. Snapped out of confusion. Yeah. Show him what's up. Confuse Ray! How did that work? What the heck? All right, that was just annoying. Um, Confuse Ray. That seems like it stole a move from one of its buddies. Is that how assist works? Assist. Amnesia. Yeah. Well, Captivate. Special attack, Arch the Fell. That's not really going to be an issue because I don't think we have any special attacks here. Plus, we hit for Little Leap. This guy's got some weird Pokemon. Um, 
It's just Dragon Razor, right? This thing is level 38. Jeez. Okay. Uh, it's got high. It's raising its defense, but Dragon Rage hits for neutral damage. Gastro Acid. What did that do? Nothing. And then we just Dragon Rage for the win. There you go. Plant. No problem. Takes down this dude. What's his name? Archer? Archer. How could this be? Like Giovanni has done before me, I will disband Team Rocket here today. Farewell. All right. See ya. That was easy. And it's just like that. They're gone. Again. Yay. Oh, you have already defeated them. Thank you. Your courageous actions have saved Pokemon nationwide. You are well worth this. You had the silver wing? How did you get the silver wing? When the tower was replaced with the radio tower, that silver wing was found at the top of the tower. And I heard from a friend in Seattle City that you can go down the cave at World Islands when you have a silver wing. I have to go back to my office. See ya! Oh, wait. I almost forgot. According to my friend from Seattle City, the legendary Pokemon will not appear if you just go down the cave at Twirl Islands with only that silver wing. Apparently there's something else you need, or something like that. I wonder what it was. I can't remember. You're so helpful. Are you expecting something? This is what they call Fake Out! I really must see you back to my office. What an oddly semi-helpful person. What about this? Can I look out these? Nope. Okay. Alright, see ya. I guess that means that we can uh, head to the next town. At long last, has the Rage Candy Bar guy finally decided he's done bothering us? Can we make it back there? Has Noelle's dominance on the day ceased? No, I mean, no. <laughs> Noelle's dominance has not ceased. What a freaking tank, a scun tank. I can't believe what a champion little Noelle is. She's so good. All right, uh, Kimberlina, fly us to here, Mahogany Town. Let's go. All right, um, let's let's give so, let's give McLean a chance out front, dare we? Rage Candyman. Hey, hey, thanks for letting me buy. Yeah, I think one is enough for you. Route 34, so this is a new route. We can catch something here. Red Apricorn, hooray. Actually, you know what we should really do? Oh, a fight, bring it. I'm gonna win for sure. I wouldn't be so, I wouldn't be so sure. I just defeated Boss Rocket or something to that effect. Um, and also I have a Mighty Metal Penguin that is a uh, rare indigo. Yeah, a Trico. I mean, you're semi-dangerous, but you're like unevolved and also weak to the steeliness of our metal claws. So yeah, you said you were gonna win for sure. You did not, you should be embarrassed. Max Repel. Um, ooh, you know what? If we're gonna, if, actually, do we still have the same? Oh my God, hold, hold on. Wait, 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 listen, listen. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ready, you ready, ready? <laughs> it's a fart. That's amazing. Oh my, I'm gonna. <laughs> they did not do that. They did not do that. Hold on, that wasn't even what I was gonna check. Oh my gosh. That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. So, okay, keep some odd Pokemon away. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe they did that. Um, wow, 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 wow. We need some grass. We need some grass. An ultra permit, so many. Okay, well, um, maybe we should surf for, surf for poke? Since there's like no grass on this route, apparently? Is that what we're gonna have to do, surf? I guess so, I'm not seeing any grass at all. All right, well, no big deal. We'll just go surf for poke. And we're gonna do this to, uh, um, we'll see if, what we get. Oh, there's some grass right there, actually. Well, it doesn't matter, here we go. What's it gonna be? It's a Snorunt, interesting. <laughs> it's a fart again. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm like, I'm like five. Okay, icy wind. 
speed fell, we got it. Um, look at the game. Graciously giving us like the last four Ultra Balls. Because clearly I didn't buy any. Let's go. <laughs> it's a fart. <laughs> it's so funny. It's so funny. Okay, Snora. Yes, we need a nickname. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Lisette. This is named after Lisette the Chikorita, who is now Lisette the Snorunt. Welcome to the box. <clears throat> well, I said I wish we had an ice something, and alas. Oh, goodness. Now what's this? Oh, no! We can't run, right? Is that... Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Let's just do this. Let's just do this. Don't you dare. I can just sit here and wait you out, home slice. I don't have to do anything. <coughs> I don't have to do... Oh, can't be switched out. That's right. I don't gotta do anything. Don't you dare destiny bond me. Just, I don't think I don't think Destiny Bond works through poison, so we're just gonna. Right? It had better not. It had better not. It had better not. Oh my god. This had if it destiny bonds me, this does not work through poison, right? Can we just knock it out? Then we're then we're good, right? Let's just knock it out. Yeah, okay, okay, jeez. All I wanted to know was what that item was. A Mac, a, a useless item, apparently. Jeez, all right, get out of this grass, get out of this grass. All right, I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center real quick. Well, jeez, that was almost scary. Why not? You know, sometimes you're having an episode. This is the thing about the Nuzlocke. You think everything's just going hinkable, hinky-dory. And Hinkus Dinkus. And then you run into a why not? Everything is the worst. I mean, it wasn't the worst. We survived it. Thankfully, no issue. Well, I fish until I can't anymore. I also battle until I drop. That's my relationship with Pokemon. Well, it sounds healthy. A Ralt! <clears throat> the question is, actually, are we a dark type yet? We're just rock ground at the moment, so... No, but also Dark Pulse. Should be good. Yep, we got it. McLean with the level up. Oh, oh, but you got Big t -tie. You got Big Taw with you. Okay. <clears throat> it's a little bit more concerning. Fortunately, we have exactly the answer. Her name is uh, Engberg. Oh, oh, did you see it fit to uh, lower my speed, did you? I think we're Rock Slide. Okay, not concerned. Oh, but we got the flinch. All right, let's show them how the Aqua Jet works. Ah, oh, the thrash. Sandstorm Rages. See, you see how it would be good um, if we had Sandstorm team going? Because Engberg benefits, doesn't benefit, but just isn't hurt by the uh, Sandstorm, which is nice. Neither would be um, McLean or plant. And plant's ability actually, sand veil, uh, activates in the sand. So, um, so there's that. <clears throat> and then, yeah, oh wow, look how far away she's standing. You look strong. Good trainers seek tough opponents instinctively. I, you know, I like your style. Well, that remains to be seen. Maybe I don't. <clears throat> Tricky typing here. Water electric, I don't like it. I guess I'd actually be fairly good against Sandbird. Um, I think Plant might be the answer here. Because then we're immune to the electric and resistant to the water. Or at least neutral on the water. Yeah. Let's go. Stockpile? That's no good. Uh, slash? Oh, they did very little. Okay. Heal. Okay. Dragon Rage. 
Okay, stockpile again. It could use like swallow or something now and get health back, but. <clears throat> Oh! Whoa! Yikes, that was a weird amount of damage that I did not like. Uh, we are faster though, we're just gonna Dragon Rage for the win. Wow, that stockpile could have been way worse. Oh, and explode. Okay, so we're gonna go to Kimberly here to throw an Intimidate on this thing. <clears throat> Ow. It immediately counters it with uh, the correct move, which is a bummer. Maybe we'll go for the headbutt win butt. Oh, now it's raising its attack even more. These normal types. Uh, okay. That was an attack boosted stab stomp there. Plant crew to 32, crushing it. Okay, wow. All right, well, because we can, because we're not gonna be, we're not feeling like any more deaths ever, <clears throat> because our team is so amazing. We're just gonna heal up, because why not? <laughs> not to be confused with actual why nots, which um, I don't love at all. We shall continue on the road to the following city. Defeating trainers along the way, a Venomoth. All right, let's go with the rocks. This is, it's poison bug. It's actually not flying. So the bug is good against dark, but we're not dark yet. Let's go rock slide, see if we got it. Well, we're not gonna get the flinch off. Oh, it's super effective. Is rock good against? Oh, whatever. You learn new thing. Oh, the ice typing. We know how to deal with that. Let's go Engberg, Fuse Ray. Well, I guess you saw the switch coming, but it won't be enough. Metal Claw. Oh, the wake up slap. Wow, that was weirdly strong. Uh, let's go for the Metal Claw again. Now oh, we got another wake up slap off. Super effective, hurt itself in confusion. Don't like any of that, don't like any of that. Uh, HP, super potion, use, go. Well, that is a strong. We're gonna switch to Noel here. <clears throat> we heal that off, and then we're going to Night Slash this thing. Oh gosh, the Confuse Rays. Come on, Ominous Wind doesn't affect us. Come on, Noel, you got this. Take this dumb Frost Last down. There it is. Gosh. Weirdly effective. Yeah. Is Shriner Allen? Whose name is Allen? Let's see. I don't like the amount of damage Noel took there. <coughs> or Angberg. Actually, Angberg took more. It's no good at all. Oh, do we have to go through that cave? All right, let's fight this guy. Do you know about the legendary bird Pokemon? Well, I know about some of them. Is this your advantage? Is this what you call a legendary bird Pokemon? Because I have news for you, friend. That is um, a bumblebee that cannot even evolve. So I'm just gonna cover it with rocks and you, you can just forget. Oh, okay. Also, yeah, that's not a bird Pokemon either. It's almost the exact opposite. It can swim. It can swim, I'll give you that. It does have two literal cannon for arms. Um, speed down, but also, Oh, haunted by the memory of Jacoby. I hate using water moves against the good old-fashioned Rhyperior since they are so good. Um, but as it were, <clears throat> absolutely not. Do not you dare give me your number. Let's see. Ice Path. So let's do this. Let's do this. Ice Path. Let's try and catch something real quick. And then... Um, So we're going to lead with Noel to maybe increase the odds of something good appearing. And then we'll call that an episode, I think. Oh boy, the fact that we're not running into anything makes me really think it's going to be something crazy. Oh, it's a Blissey! Ooh, 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 ooh. Interesting. Very interesting. <clears throat> okay, okay. So, let's see. The only real reason we led with Noel was just to increase the odds of something something interesting on the catch. But as it were, let's go to Kimberly to lower its attack. I'm not exactly sure what it's gonna have. I'm always confused with Blissey's because I have a my my personal Blissey has like ice beam and seismic cost. Um, but uh, and I always think like, oh god, it's gonna have ice beam. But they don't. There's no reason for it to have ice beam. I mean, we are in the ice cave, but. 
Um, let's go for a headbutt here and just see how much damage. Oh, 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 no. Oh, man. Wow. Well, all right. Well, no, well. Your Pokemon seems surprised to touch ice. Yeah. All right. Well, I think this is where we're going to call it. This looks like a whole brand new area. We already, we failed. We whiffed our catch on the ice path, sadly. No Blissey, which is a bummer because Blissey is a fantastic tanky Pokemon. But uh, we already have the ultimate tank and the scum tank. And uh, in case you forgot, lest you forgot, hold on, hold on. Are you ready? Just for the kicks. Oh no, well, you prankster you, you prankster you. Oh my goodness, our beautiful little skunk. Wow, okay. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching today's episode. Don't forget to leave a like on it if you haven't already and subscribe so you don't miss any future Nuzlocke action from us. Uh, leave leave a like for, for Noelle's evolution and for Noelle's hilarious battle cry, which uh, is a fart and that it, it makes me laugh so much. It's so funny. Um, next up, we're going to go through the Icy Path and maybe take on the 8th Gym Badge? We shall see. I'm not sure how long the Icy Path takes, but um, that's where we're headed. That's what's next on the agenda. You guys are awesome. Thanks for sticking with me throughout this whole journey thus far. We're so close to 8 Gym Badges already. Can you believe it? Um, it's, it's, it's flying by, but it's been super fun so far. And yeah, yeah, in case you're wondering, yes, my plan is to do Kanto. I know some of you guys have been asking, we're doing Kanto. If we make it that far, we will. Hopefully. Who could ever beat Noel? Shouldn't have said that out loud. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking now. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye. Hey, before we head out today, I wanted to give a huge thank you to all of our amazing patrons over on Patreon. Special thanks to Abby Munden, Afropunk, Brad Johnson, Dakota Ballantine, Eduardo Bravo, Gamer Zylia, Jade Colger, Karen Choi, Lauren Alexandra, Momo East, Rachel Pierce, Romy Osterheld, Yale Ezer, Adrian, ho oh, Adrian Shishitano, I hope I got that right, Annalena, Brianna Bouchard, Dana Guess, Emerald Phoenix, Jacob Ross, James James Buzanel, Lazy, Lacey Nielsen, you're not lazy, Lacey, Madison Wolf, Nicole Cox, Rashiba, Stacy N0412. Thank you all so much for your support over here on Super Colin Gaming. If anyone else wants to see their name on their list, or just support us at all, you can head over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. We'll see you there. Dead spork.